Hey, what's up, guys? Yo, come and sit down and shut the door. Do you know that there are these shocking, crazy allegations being made against Jay-Z, Beyonce, the billionaire Brothman family? Baby, it got everything. It involves blank holes. It involves blank. It involves everything. And guess what? Here's the crazy thing. It's not so crazy because she's citing court cases showing, at least what she's accusing, that Jay-Z literally conspired with the Brothman family to help take away custody from her child. Now, listen, before we get into this, let me just go over everything. She went into a all caps Twitter rant. And I'll tell you the truth. It is unclear. Jay-Z didn't have... Let me just get into this, right? Let me let me just read this because this is crazy. Um, yeah, where y'all want to start? Hold on, let me pull this up from the beginning. Baby, this is out of Esquire magazine, so you know it's real. They said MIA, if you guys don't know, not Maya, but MIA, you know, I fly like paper, get high like paper. sticks and stones and bones. Sticks and stones and weed, money when we get on. Okay, anyway, right? That was the bop. She uh, did Paper Plane. And baby, she was the sounds of 2000, what? 2008 up until 2015. She still has bops. She accuses her former manager, Jay-Z, of being paid off by the Brothmans, a family, the family of her son's father, Benjamin. Benjamin's father. So Benjamin is her baby's dad, right? It's the former CEO of Warner. She alleges all, and he's also the heir to the Seagram's uh, fortune, family fortune. Yeah, that's Seagram. Seagram's tonic, Seagram's ginger ale, baby. Exactly. She alleges all communication with Rock Nation was stopped the day she was served by her ex uh, for custody. She also mentions the government is okay with my child being with a family of convicted blank traffickers, referring to Sarah Brothman, who was found out to be funding a blank cult and the founder of NXIVM. It's a cult. If you guys don't know what, Google it, NXIVM. I would tell you all the sick things they were guilty of, um, but YouTube will demonetize me. But what I want, how are you from a billionaire family, and you're out here funding sex, blank, cult. Anyway, you know how we know this is true? Because they were, Sarah Brothman was found guilty of blank trafficking and racketeering. Billionaires were found guilty of this. They tried to make a cult. You know what? Let me not get into it. I'm going to be demonetized. Google it, but let's get into her accusations. Claire Brothman was sentenced to six years and nine months in prison for her involvement with the notorious organization, okay? This is huge. 2024 is the year of truth. And honestly, I do believe, the fact that these billionaires were involved in that sick, sick mess and was convicted for six years, that family's into some dark stuff. And they do have money, because I do remember around that time, she, they literally, she was like the hottest thing going. And just like that, she got blackballed. They would not play her music. She couldn't get any gigs. And I remember being like, what happened? And I remember that she was involved in a, in a custody dispute in the Southern District of New York. And I also remember that she accused the family of basically destroying her livelihood because one of the arguments that her baby's father uses, the billionaire son, was saying that she didn't have any job or any real money and he's the only one that can care for him. Yeah, I know. Also, side, side note, they also tried to make an issue out of MIA's uh, past. If you guys don't know, her father uh, was one of the founding, not found, but one of the biggest freedom fighters in the Tamil Tigers. That's where they're, uh, they were trying to uh, get, uh, of course, freedom back home. And it got so dangerous that her and her mom and her sisters and brothers were sent to the UK to live because they were not safe back at home. And I remember she said something really interesting because she had a lot of anger toward her dad. And it, it, anyone that knows anyone involved in civil rights, she said, you know, my dad was concerned with saving the world. But I thank my mother because she only wanted to save the people in her world, talking about her brothers and her sisters. And it was just an interesting, very introspective take on what it actually means to be the daughter or a son of a freedom fighter and the legacy that comes with that and the unspoken pain and sacrifice that you have to get. Anyway, right? 
She said, my custody battle was two in 2013. My child was four. I was managed by Jay-Z, who was ultimately paid off by the Brothmans. Then she posted this. Supreme Court, it's, a, it's from wiki.org. It's about the case about the way her in-laws were funding a, a, a child blank blanketing and a blank cult. Anyway, Supreme Court asserted that she ensnared Isabella Martinez and Gabriel Leo, among others, for taking costly classes as part of a fraudulent scheme nationwide by Rainier and NXIVM. So they were also running a pyramid scheme on top of that. How are a billionaire having forced labor, a trafficking, a blank cult, and you're running an, basically an Amway pyramid scheme? Y'all, greed knows no bounds. They said Brothman and her husband, so this is uh, the in-laws, founded the Athal Education Group, a France-based offshoot of Rainier's Rainbow Cultural Garden, as well as the UK branch of RCG itself. The school was closed by the authorities in 2020. On June 19, 2019, NXIVM founder Rainier, in-law, was found guilty of blank trafficking and racketeering. At trial, prosecution witness and NV, I'm sorry, NXIVM defector Mark Vincenti testified that Sarah Brothman, okay, that Sarah Brothman was among Rainier's trusted group. On January 28, 2020, Sarah and Claire Brothman, now the sisters getting involved, were named as defendants when the when 80 former NXIVM members sued, saying they were victims of blank trafficking forced labor, and illegal human experiments, and that the NXIVM organization was a pyramid scheme. Y'all, this is sick. And I feel for her because, yo, anyway, she said, I'm not allowed to see my child for stealing food at 18. She got a shoplifting charge at 18 when I was poor, yet your government is okay with my child being with, fam being with a family convicted for child blanketing and blank cults. The difference between me and migrants coming in is that I can't vote. I'm paying U.S. taxes too. This is sick. She said, I sacrificed my career for my child. They ripped me off and copied my style and gave it to their puppets and shadow banned me on every platform. I think this is where she's talking about Jay-Z because he was managing her and she was under Rock Nation. But it was worth it to save him from the madness of what you now know. The day I was served for my child, Rock Nation stopped all communication with me and all my emails to Jay-Z asking for help were wiped from my inbox. My apartment was broken into and every laptop was taken. I was trapped in Brooklyn on, on an order serve that restricted me from leaving Brooklyn for 15 years. She said for 15 years, y'all, this is crazy. But again, she's calling out Jay-Z because basically he helped. But back then, nobody knew the sick stuff that they were into. At least I don't think so. Y'all, what do you think? Her kids are definitely, well, her kid's father and his family are definitely, it looks like if this can, well, it's on Wiki and the court said it, they are 100% confirmed into some dark mess. And this is what she sacrificed her whole career for to save, to save her child from. She also accused Aurora James, that's, I guess, the sister-in-law, said she vaccinated my child without my permission. Oh, I'm sorry. No. Aurora James is her, the billionaire's son, Benjamin, MIA's baby father. Aurora James is the new stepmom. The billionaires. She's also super cool, cool with the Kardashians, Emma Gerd, that whole set. When I say these people are 100% super, super funded, Aurora James is a stepmom. And she said she vaccinated my child without permission. They manipulated my child by lying to a 12-year-old, pretending to be his mom. Um, of course, if you're not your, if, you, if it's not your own child, you don't care how you can psychologically damage a child with mental games. She is Beyonce and Solange's friend. Okay. So, I mean, Aurora is very, very, very uh, well-connected. 
And I don't see how Beyonce and Solange are responsible for this. But I think what she is trying to say is that she is very, very, um, very, very well connected. Uh, yeah, you guys, I just don't. I just don't understand. You know, let me know what you think in the comments. I'm going to go do some more research. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to you later. Bye.